Hey everyone, this is Vicki at Betsy Table Studio, and this is December the 27th video. And it will all be on, well most of it will be on um, fast forward and there'll be no audio to it because I was in a chat where I taped some of it. <laughs> at the end of it, I will show you the stamped pictures that I came up with with what I carved. Okay, I want to show you guys something that happens to rubber. I don't like it. It makes me mad. I spent money on it. and Okay, so I'm trying to make tall skinny trees, so I went to look through my pieces basket, and I found another piece of rubber here. It's not this, I don't think it's, it's not Speedy Carve, it's something else. But then I touched something, and it made me feel sticky. This is an eraser that's like this. Look at that. That is so gross. It's one of those Dollar Tree erasers that is now like Silly Putty. It was one that looked just like this. That is so gross. So now I'm really scared. Oh, there's another piece. Look, stuff is sticking together. All right, guys, I think ugh, the best thing you can do for your spare rubber is to use it up as quickly as possible. This one is disintegrating. It's trying, look, it's already trying to disintegrate. Look at that. That is wretched. Well, I guess I get what I pay for. It was a dollar. <laughs> All right, so that's in the garbage. But the thing is, is that it destroys some of your other, oh, here's another one I can use. It destroys some of your other stamps. Look, look. So I'll have to carve on the other side. Let me see if there's any more in here that are nasty like that is. So that tells you that I'm saving my rubber entirely, oh, entirely too long. Here's some melted green. Oh, that is so gross. Okay, <laughs> not too much grosses me out, but this is not good. Okay, so that one's starting to stick, I think. All right, I guess I need to either use these pieces or... St oh, here we go. What is this? Oh, just curve. All right, so there's that. Is this one? No. So you need to start using your pieces that you thought you are going to save for another day and either use them or get rid of them because... I'm going to use this one. Because um, they don't last. It's just... Oh, that's a nice little thing. Oh, here's another one. And another one. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Oh. I don't even have to do anything to that one. So be careful when you save stuff thinking, uh, 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 thinking you're going to go back and uh, use it later. Because guess what? It's not going to be there because it's going to be melted onto something else. I'm just going to throw this. Look at this. This is the $1 erasers from um, Dollar Tree. And I probably had them four or five years. Isn't that nasty? It's just rubber, but it's kind of gross. All right, in the trash it goes. All right, guys, so learn from my mistakes about, oh, that's cute, keeping things entirely too long because you're too cheap to buy new stuff. <laughs> okay. Let me go get my stuff and get carving. Okay, so I've looked at all the pieces that I have. Now I drew on this one, and I am going to use this one, and I'm going to use the back side too. Get more bang for my buck. But these, but these right here, this one is a leftover from something else that'll make a great tree. These are already shaped like trees. I don't have to do anything except for bing, 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 bing carving. This is how you get more bang for your buck with your scraps because you can make them into almost anything. Just got to use your head a little bit to get creative. All right, so that's those. Now I'm going to get back to these. Because I'm really afraid this stuff is going to melt, I need to use them stamp what I want with them, and then 
they'll probably go to the thrift store. Um, let's see. Um, full disclosure, I cut boxes all day with this yesterday. <laughs> so if it doesn't cut properly, it's only because the blade is so stinking dull and I need to cut it up. I need to do something with it real quick. So I might pause the video and switch my blade out. There's that. That looks... Let's see, what could I do with this one? I could make a little tiny tree out of this one, but how many of these trees do I need? Let me draw on the rubber first and then decide to cut. Meep, meep, meep. Uh, let me go change my blade. Okay. I start everyone with, okay, I'm sorry. I was watching videos and, and I thought, I really need to stop that. Let me give you some advice. You should buy lots of blades in advance so that when you need to cut something, you don't ever have to worry about them getting dull because you can always replace them with new ones. I mean, it's not expensive at all. Oops. Come on. Go gently into the night, kind sir. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oop. There we go. Well, maybe. Things don't always go the way you think they will. All right, there we go. Now that bad boy's sharp. <laughs> okay, so let me draw on my um, little doodahs here. So these guys... don't need any fancy things on them. They just don't. Um, this one, I think I might do straight bands across this one. There we go. So those are two. This one, I don't know what to do with this one. I could leave it plain. No, I cannot leave it plain. What am I thinking? Okay. Yeehaw. All right, so that's, so I'll have one, two, three, four, five. Number six. Make this another tall tree. It's a little off center. We'll do this one with carving out this part so that I can color it in after stamping or jelly printing. I want them to all kind of look a little bit different from each other. And then do this one here. There. And then there's that. I like these tall skinny things. And then I have the little short fat ones. All right. So because I'm multitasking today, I will carve while I'm in a chat. <laughs> Fast forward through all the carving. I'll see you on the other side.
Okay, so I'm only going to do a couple um, jelly prints because I did one, two, three, <laughs> wait, wait, three. I did seven or eight trees. Well, I didn't really carve these two. They were just a shape. So it's two, four, five, and then these two are just basics. Those are just shapes. So what I was thinking is I could take these. Oh, I did one. Oh, I messed up three of them right there. Okay, so what I had in mind was cutting out the shapes and gluing them onto Christmas cards maybe for next year. Here's the green one. Um, I don't have any done with the black ink, but I, you know, I don't want to put black ink on Christmas cards. So this is the red and green that I might use. And, you know, if I have more roll-off paper that... Um, turns out okay I'll do it in different shades and then maybe I can take the black ink and cut those out and put them in an arrangement but that's what was on my mind um let's see I had paper that I had already stamped with the green trees I guess I can't oh well where is it okay maybe not <laughs> anyway never mind so um I think that's it for this day and I will see you in the next video. Hey everyone, this is Vicky at Messy Table Studio and this video is for day 28. It's a pretty quick carve. Well, no, it's a long carve, but <laughs> it'll be a quick video because I didn't do too many jelly prints. So here's day 28. I will see you at the end. Much to my chagrin, I accidentally deleted <laughs> the video of me carving the stamp for day 28. It asked me if I wanted to replace, which files I wanted to replace, because there were two files of each of 001 and 002. And since I thought the other two were already captured, I made it do the second two. And it deleted the first two, which was the carving and the drawing and the carving of the stamp. So that did not go well. <laughs> so I went ahead and tacked on 28 onto 27 because there is no content other than the intro and now what you're going to see next. I'm so sorry. Uh, so we'll try again on day 29. Here is the stamp that I carved, this leafy thing with no stem. <laughs> and here are the jelly prints that I made. The green, oh, I got some kind of boogie stuff on here. What is this? Oh, stamp boogers. So this is the green and yellow one. And I did it different directions because when you fold it in half, it doesn't have to be everything straight up or, you know, that way. It's non-directional. That's what I think that's what the the saying is. And then here is the blue, the teal blue and the yellow, which I think I like this one the best of the two. I took the roll-off paper that I did while I was waiting for the camera to do its thing and just took the black stays on and stamped it all over the place here so that I would have one to put in the book for day 28. Then I decided to stamp one in green, or is that on the back? That might be what I cut off here on the on the back, because I like the way it looked in the green. So I stamped one off with green, and I think I'm going to doodle on this and play around with it to see what comes of it, because I want to be able to use this for many things, not just one. So that is all of those. Let's, oh, I know. What else did I do? Oh, I just did the stamp off to clean this the stamps. No, right there. So that is day 28, and I will see you for day 29 shortly. Thanks, everyone.